Welcome back to my online video tutorial series. At the end of this video, you should know how to interpret and draw the sectional elevation for a typical house. In this case, we have a, a hip roof and a hip roof basically has all four sides stopped at, a, at an angle. So this is the, the type of things to be taken into consideration. One, this is a hip roof, which means that all the sides, means that all the sides are sloped at an angle. So this is the overhang I'm producing here, overhang. This is the overhang. And uh, the roof, these are the hip, hip rafters, the hip rafters, right? The cutting plane lies, AA lies someplace here. So for this, I'll be using a different color line, different line with thickness and color. Let's use, uh, So here is our cutting plane line. So the roof is cut across here. And we're looking in this direction. This is A. A, -A section A. -A. Arrow. So we are looking in this direction and they want a full section. A full section means that this building cuts through both um, the substructure and the superstructure. So here currently our cutting plane line cuts one line here, cuts to one wall here. Let me delete that side of one, that. Or cutting plane line cuts through, yeah, cuts through a wall, cuts through uh, one wall here and a window, cuts through an open space here, a solid wall here, and a window here. We are also looking directly into the kitchen where we have a door, a door here as well. One door here, we have windows here in this section and also a window here. So those are factors that must be considered. <clears throat> so to sketch this, um, let me change to a different line weight different color and line weights. Let's see what's brown here. So for this uh, quick sketch, uh, well, in order to generate the roof, the roof here is important to know that this, this roof, this roof cuts the roof at this point. So this is an, another point that we must, we must consider. The roof cuts the roof at this point. At this point here, Want a different color, probably black. Yeah, more pronounced black color. So the roof cuts the raft at this point here and also at this point. So those are two very important points. Here and there. Oh, oh. let's get back that on. So it cuts the rafter here and at this point. So to, to generate, let me generate the wall first. Sketch for this. So first we have one wall here. Let me use a single line. That line is too thick. 
the sketches real quick. I so we have one vertical wall, one line here. And it's important to note that even though this is single line, we know we need to show the wall thickness. So this is this is the wall here through the window. We have a next wall here to an open section. So we have this wall right here and this wall here. We now have this wall right here, the third wall, which is there, third wall. And our fourth wall, which is a cut to a window. I need to redraw all that. Wall does not do good. Neither this one. All right. I need to redraw those. Okay, so the next step, the next step is to um, produce the roof detail. So here, to produce the roof detail, we draw a line from this point here, draw a line from this point. Let me use a different color. Draw a line from this point here. We are cutting plain line, cuts the rafter. You draw that line up. Draw this one up as well. Yeah. Then draw this at 30 degrees. 30 degrees. 30 degrees. And at the point, 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Well, extend that up a little bit. That means a different color. Probably white, no, not white. Uh, probably this color. Yeah, so no. Different thickness as well. So no, so we bring, we bring this point up, extend this point up as well, then draw a line from here to there, and one from here down to here. One from here down to here. By the way, this is how you do it if you're using AutoCAD. For AutoCAD architecture, it is super easy. Way, way easier than, you, than this method. So this is basically that part, that for that. We would then go ahead and, um, so from here to here, the overhang. The overhang is from here to here. From here to here is the overhang. Here is the overhang. From this, from this wall to here is the overhang. It's important to point that out. So my next step, you know, we need to transfer this. We need to know this. Well, I could copy this from here and drop it into the drawing. So for that, I would draw a wall. Well, I would copy that onto this line. So that distance would be here. We will transfer that distance here. And then we draw that apart for this. 